Welcome back to the series of taking full control of your background music. In the last video, we shared some basic knowledge about the structure of pop music and explained the features of each part, and also gave you a complete music structure breakdown using the waveform markers in Video Pro Vlogger. Well, if you haven't watched it yet, be sure to click on the link in the upper right corner to check the video out, so that you can better comprehend the content of today's video. Alright, today let's move on to the second episode of the series, in which we are going to show you how to control the length of the music as you wish. First, open the software and find the project file you saved from the last tutorial. Double click on it to enter the project. We will now shorten it based on the structure that we marked. Let's see. Since the music has the same verse, pre chorus and chorus in both the front and the back parts, we can get rid of the section between the first chorus and the second chorus. Move the playhead to the marker at the end of the first chorus. Click on Split. Then, move the playhead to the marker at the end of the second chorus. Click on Split. Then, delete the section. And bring the outro forward. That's it. Let's see if the transition comes out lateral. Isn't that great? Of course, if you still feel the music is not short enough, you can continue to simplify the structure. For example, let's check out this verse, which is actually composed of two identical sections. Thus, we can call out the second verse. Next, we have the pre-chorus, which works to enhance the progressive mood. We also remove it. And come to the chorus part. It also has two identical chorus, chorus 1 and chorus 2. Same here, we delete the first one and keep the second chorus and outro connected smoothly. Then hold the shortcut control and drag the whole thing forward. Now let's hear. I can feel some discontinuity going on here, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and adjust it. Click on the plus icon on the far left of the audio track to add a new audio track. Then drag the second chorus and outro together to the new audio track. Then stretch the first verse and the second chorus respectively to ensure there is a little bit of overlap at the connection here. Next, come to the inspector. Add a fading effect to it. Then, add a fade out effect to it. Now let's have a look again. Isn't it much smoother? Making music longer, in fact, is to add multiple music clips to increase the length of the music. Here, one little trick to keep in mind is that when we select the music clips to be added, we should choose a piece that share multiple music structures. For example, a section with verse 
pre-chorus and chorus would be a great idea. If you select a segment from a single component and loop it multiple times, the final effect will come out too repetitive, which will get boring to listen to. So here, we use split to cut out the verse, pre-chorus and chorus. And then, cut out the break. Next, use the interval of the break, add music clips behind it. Use the shortcut Ctrl C to copy the music clip, and Ctrl V to paste it behind the break. This complete addition. You can copy and paste several segments over and over again, until you're satisfied with the length. Then, use the mouse to stretch the last music segment to the end of the outro. Now it's done. Alright, that's all about the music reconstruction. But the topic about controlling background music is not over yet. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy!